hello guys welcome to my channel this is the sixth tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be talking about scope in C++ so I've got a file here it's called scope and it has the extension CPP of course and in this file I have done something unusual in the sense that um, in all the previous program files that we have seen in this course uh, you must have noticed that all variable declarations and initializations happen within the main function uh, but in this program I've got a float score equals 50.5 executable statement on line number 3 which basically creates this variable called score of float type and stores a value 50.5 in it now the reason why I have done this is because I want to talk about scope which is basically the area of a program where a variable is known and where it can be accessed so the variable score here enjoys global scope in the sense that it would be known to any function that would be present in this program file so in this case we just have one function which is main and even though we haven't declared or initialized score within the main function if we use the C out statement and try to print the value in score it's going to display 50.5 right so I'll make sure the file is saved I'll click on build and run and there we go we see that the score is 50.5 now if I would uncomment this statement that I have on line number 6 which creates a local copy uh, of the variable score within the main function and gives it a value 75 instead and this by the way is also a variable of different type it's an integer variable and it has 75 not 50 so I'll click on build and run and we see that it now displays 75 so the way functions work in C++ is that they first try to find local instances of the variables that you are accessing or using uh, within the definitions for the functions and if uh, you know it's not able to find local instances it looks for copies that are available at a global level right so a global variable uh, you know just to make the point again is a variable that has been declared and initialized outside all functions right even outside main and it's obviously known and accessible within any function in the program uh, a local f a variable or a variable with local scope is one that has been created within a function and is known only within the function and can be accessed from within the function but not outside right and you can have uh, you know variables of the same name within different functions uh, doing very different things but I would not encourage that because that can confuse you and you know people who read the code that you've written and it can be hard to remember what the purpose of you know each variable was so you should be a little uh, explicit with your variable declarations and you should you know maybe try to use different names for the variables if they are intended to do different things but uh, knowing this definitely helps and uh, this is something that we're going to maybe discuss later on in the course as well so i hope you guys had fun watching this video you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm going to see you later till then take care